Hello again, everybody. Harry Box, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It is Thursday, the 26th of July. These are the charts of the day. Well, it was kind of a mixed day on Wall Street, particularly with NASDAQ being weaker, but the blue chips did well, and some of the stocks we followed did very well. Let's look at some of them. ADMA popped today, broke out of a you know, two-month trading range with big volume. That's what you want to see. My target now is seven and three quarters, maybe eight and a half, three quarters going forward. Let's see if we can get a little pullback consolidation entry up around that five and a half, three quarter range for an entry. Better little entry up on this one. Maybe we can make some money on it. AMD, monster volume today. Someone said to me it was the biggest volume ever traded. I can show you right here. There was even bigger back in July of last year when it traded 236 million on an up day. Here's an even a bigger down day. How about 268 million? Uh, it's, it's, it's just one of those stocks that trades big volume. Anyway, today's action broken out of a wedge or, or a coiling type pattern. Here's a coil. And you can see that holding the trend lines and the juxtaposition of these um, support levels and moving averages it exploded today with a breakaway gap and closing to the upper end of the range. Uh, after hours, it traded 19 and a quarter. Hang on a second while I just screwed something up. I'll be right, be right with you, folks. Okay, so back to where we were. So um, AMD on the daily chart, you can see broke out of that wedge with a big, big thrust. This is likely to go higher. And again, I was showing you that after hours, the stock traded up to 19 and a quarter before backing off to 1896. So a follow through of another 60 cents beyond today's big day. Today was up 230 on 14% of 192.5 million. Now, you normally when I see this kind of a lineup, what I'll do is draw a line this way to indicate the possibilities of a parallel channel that looks a little like that and, and then bring it up right there. So now my new target is a 22 range. 22, if it gets over 19, 19 and a quarter. A, uh, a, a M P E. Popped a few days ago. It's consolidating. The stock's now hanging in tough. It was only up two cents today, but I, and I wasn't going to include this, but now that you mention it, the stock seems to be out above resistance and consolidating for the past couple of days. Something to watch. Your target on this one is a four, five, and seven. ARNC, beautiful pop, breakaway gap, a week long coil or wedge, and another big gap today. This one jumped 212 or 11%, 7 million traded. Looks to me like it might make a run at 20. Two and a half, and then 24, three, three and three quarters, something like that. ARWR continues to act well, up another 55 cents or 3.3 percent. Right on support here. Any further extension, we're going to see 20 on it. AUDC following through, our swing trades acting well, up another uh, from 903 to 949. That's a big move for that stock, up 51 cents or 5.7 percent today. Volume is the biggest I've ever seen on it, and that goes back a ways. Yeah, maybe you had one big day there, but this is huge volume for that stock. I still think you're going to see $11 stock coming up. BPI exploded out of an inverse head and shoulders with a big breakaway gap on monster volume for this stock. My near-term target, 15 and three-quarters, 16. Cool. Well, a big reversal. It's up three days in a row now. Pull back down. Consolidated. Closed positively by $1.9, 5.2%. I'm looking for this stock to make a move at 25, five and a half area. Then we'll see what, what it does beyond that. It's possible that the big three-wave corrective falling wedge is done. CRNT broke out above resistance and is right now testing the June high, which came in about 4.15. We get through that 4.80 and 5.50 are targets. Nice chart. Castilium aluminum stock's acting a little bit better with the tariff questions going on. Uh, you can see that the gap, the stall, and now another follow-through today, but there's key resistance in the zone we get to 14, if we're looking at 17 and a half. I, I N, up boom, up 10.30 today, breaking away to new all-time highs. And after running out of this base pattern, it's now accelerating. But it's overdone, short term, be very careful. See the pop of the coil and flag right there? It's often a very good entry opportunity. This one went from, call it 22 and three quarters to 59, and that did, only took a couple months. Wow. Didn't see that. MRTX has gone in about nine months from 7 to 62. Today's action, breaking out a little flag of another $5 or 8.8%. 8 .8%. And IHD popped its um, flag a couple days ago. It's edging higher. I had an inside there yesterday. Today was a breakaway. It's 
They're looking for a move to get this to about six and a half, maybe maybe as early as tomorrow, and then we're looking at high high single digits. So the bottom line is, is that we have a uh, breakaway move here that looks to me like it's going to extend. My target is 7.5. NTR coming out of a wedge. Looks like it. My target's now in the 56 range, but beyond that, I'm looking for 61. OMER, also a big run up. Big pullback, held its moving averages and trend line right in there. And uh, you can see pop to resistance pullback, and then another pop broke it out today, it looks like. My target's about 26, and then I'm looking up about close to 30. PCMI, amazing how, what a great box of short this was in here, all the way down. And when it reversed and spiked and pulled back from the flag, that was a no-brainer buy, I thought, but I never did anything about it. My next target is right here. We may test that as early as tomorrow, coming in about 21. If it gets to 21, it's not going to be 24.5 pretty quickly. RFIL looks great. Coming out of a wedge, it's popped today $1.20 or almost 14%. What a chart. Headed, looks like 11, 11 and a quarter, and then we're looking at 13. And finally, view rate exploded yesterday. Had an inside day, but a positive one as it closed positively. Any move above 13.20, and I think the stock's going to be a 15, 16 stock. Folks, that's it for tonight. You guys have a good evening. TGIF tomorrow.